This is working. Awesome. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Coffee with Tim. Coffee with Tim. And my remote worked again. It's just so unreliable. This morning I am sitting outside in front of our RV, our home, if you will, to remind you that we are RVers. And even though we're parked in this awesome pad that mom made, mother-in-law made here in Central Point, Oregon, I, I still live in it and we're getting anxious to get out and get back on the road. We did have a repair guy come by this week and it was virtually worthless. He couldn't do the roof because it might rain and he didn't have the proper valve to fix the gray tank even though I had taken a picture of it for him. And he did trace down the electrical problem. Our generator is working. I need to put it in a new transfer switch, which I may just do that myself. And so it was pretty much a worthless trip. So we're a little discouraged about that, yet nevertheless we continue to, to press on. Uh, this, this last week, good morning everybody. How many of y'all, raise your hands if you saw the special edition of Coffee with Tim, okay? If you didn't see it, it's available on my face page. It's also available on the church Facebook page. My wife and I got to preach, as it were, at church this last week, our home church. Valley View Christian Fellowship in Reno, Nevada. And the, the recording of the whole service is up there. And if you want to fast forward, if you want to skip the singing, uh, at about, about halfway through, about one hour into it, 58 minutes into it, something like that, you'll find us. And you can just watch that short part where we did the, the little bit of preaching. Now, for those of you on YouTube, my YouTubers, I can't get it up to YouTube. However, if you wanted to go to Valley View Reno, one word, valleyviewreno.org, that's our church Facebook page, and click on sermons, and it'll show the latest sermons back in March, and click on Vimeo link right there in the middle of the page, and it'll take you to the Vimeo page. And currently, as I say this, our service of 11-21-2021 is right there at the beginning on the Vimeo page and you can see that. Now if you come late to the party and it's gone, click load more and it'll load more and it should be down there. The service was 11 2021 And if you want to bypass the church uh, webpage, you can go directly to vimeo.com slash vvcf and you should be able to find it there. Okay, so we're trying to make that available to anybody who, who wants to. I did a whole uh, Coffee with Tim intro just for y'all, and the church was very, <laughs> they were so cool. I asked them to cheer, and to cheer loudly, because the mic wouldn't pick it up unless they did, and they just about blew us off the stage with all their cheering. So that was, thank you Valley View for, for the great welcome and for participating in that. That was great. That was a lot of fun. Pastor John said we could have another. If we come back, we could do another one. So we'll see about about that. Okay, that was last week. Uh, this week, uh, when we came home, these we had made these, and I just want to talk about it for a second. This is a business card that I made. Okay, it's got the sower side. Talks in there about where you can watch my videos. And then on the back side, just to make sure you got the right guy, there's that guy, right? There is that guy. So we made these business cards, and we're going to be passing them out where we go from now on to sowers. We're going to leave a few at church if anybody wants one. And uh, if you want a copy and you're not going to be at church, just let me know. Send me a text, whatever. Just tell me where to mail them. I'll mail you a few. And the goal isn't so that you can have this and, and just have it for yourself. The goal is it's a seed. It's a Johnny Apple seed, if you were, because I'm going to talk about the gospel. God's got me tied into the gospel. I have to give the gospel. And so I'm going to do that. I'm also going to try to build up the body of Christ, kind of be the conscience sometimes, tell you what the Lord's laying on my heart. You know the videos, and I'm going to try to get them better. But if you run into somebody who you think would benefit would be interested or would benefit, this is a card you can hand them. Say, hey, watch this guy. And and they'll come on and, and then maybe they'll hear the gospel and maybe I'll impact their life. 
It's not about me. It's about building the kingdom of God. So these are little seeds. Uh, and for whatever I can do, whatever God would do here, um, pass those out. So if you want a few, holler. Tell me how many you want, where to mail them to. I'll send them to you. Awesome. So we're going to leave these in our sower, with our sower camps as we go and other places. I invite people to watch. So we're going to try to get a little better, a little more professional, if you will. And so that's that. Okay? Lord put that on my heart. I carry them with me all the time. Great. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll come out with a coffee cup that says Coffee with Tim. The picture of me on it. Maybe we'll come out with a, a t-shirt, you know, it says something about coffee with Tim. We're going to have a, maybe we'll have a whole line of products, and this was the first one. But, so stay tuned and keep following us. All right. I told you before that we're under the flight path of the airport, and they just did a, a flyby. And Mom and Grandma just came home in the truck. So, things are happening around here. Okay, that's, that's that. A couple of thoughts. I was out at the store. Hey, by the way, happy Thanksgiving. And we'll talk about Black Friday in a minute. I was out Wednesday doing a little bit of last minute food shopping for us. The, all the all the fixings for Thanksgiving that mom made for us, which was wonderful. She already had that. So we just picked up a couple of things. And I went by myself. And I was walking around as people were doing their last minute Thanksgiving shopping. And I just felt a peace in the air. You know, I just felt like people were going to actually slow down and stop. And maybe actually be thankful to God. And maybe it was just a peace. And there was a little bit of a joy in that peace as we come into the holiday season. And I see people stopping to celebrate with family and friends. And I thought, you know, this is good. This is good. It gave joy and peace to my heart. Was very happy about that and then the thanksgiving day we had just a great time with family stuffed ourselves too much i had a lot to be thankful for enjoyed that with the family here and a couple friends and then today today is black friday everybody's shopping their guts out not everybody many people shopping their guts out black friday starts on thursday night and it's bright and early and you know the hustle and the bustle and the people that are caught up into that trying to get the best deals on the hottest items before they sell out and and some people get the rush they get that rush of a, a endorphins for, from doing that and good for you but I've, I've come to think about the holiday season the Christmas season if you will as a mailman it was my crazy time it turned out at the end of my career that crazy time was every day. But this is time especially. And it usually started in September with the catalogs when we used to deliver tons of catalogs. Uh, and now the ads. And now the packages. And, and, it, and the Christmas cards. And the bills. And all of it. So much work. So many hours of work. And then the stress of trying to prepare for the holidays. Decorate the home. Christmas shop for people. Wrap parties get together with people to share the gifting it was just an intensely stressful time in my life and i'm afraid that is the way for many of you there's the way we celebrate christmas is just a little bit off uh, jesus talks about that not to worry about what you wear or what you're going to eat the lord knows that he'll provide that for you so it's a, it's a, it's an anxiety free lifestyle that he calls us to. Uh, Paul Peter says, "Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus." So on the one hand, we have a call to an anxiety free, peaceful existence. But on the other hand, we have this call to this rush and hustle and bustle and, and stress and how much money is spent. It's so all the decisions you have to make. How many gifts are you going to give? How much are you going to spend on these gifts? Who's going to get what? Where are you going to go? It's just, just anxiety city. And it takes all away from the whole purpose is to recognize that God has given us a gift. 
And that gift he gave us is his son. Not just that his son came, but his son came for a purpose, to redeem us from sin and to make us presentable, acceptable to God. And that's the reason for the season. And we, we cover that up with all this other hustle bustle of Christmas trees and decorations and everything else that we do. It's all about what God has done for us. And not that he gave us a baby, but that baby grew to be a man and let himself be killed by men so that in that death he could pay for their sins and forgive them and restore them to a relationship with God. And there goes another airplane. I hope you can hear this. <laughs> so that's the, that's the deal. So how do we sort out, how do we de-stress, de-clutter, de-anxiety this holiday season? How do we make better decisions? I mean, you, all, you all inherited traditions, you know? We, I had my traditions I inherited from my family growing up. And whether to teach kids to believe in Santa Claus or not, whatever. All these things that you have to make decisions about as a parent or as, a, as an adult. And, and then where do you go? And what happens if you feel left out? Because it's gone. Or your family's gone. And there's no more celebrating. And how do you recalibrate? How do you make those decisions? I would just encourage you to think it through. Put a little thought in how can we de-stress Christmas and put more emphasis on its original purpose and not make it so much about how much you give or how many people you give or what you want to get, but just to calm it down. Now, I don't have all the answers to that, but I put it to you. Look at your own life and how can you put more emphasis on Jesus and less stress about the giving and, and all the activities that go on, right? I don't know how to answer that, but I know what we're doing isn't full of peace like it should be. There's too much anxiety before the peace and too much commercialism, capitalism, uh, whatever, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is involved in Christmas. And they're trying to outdo the other guy with the decorations. I just heard a story. I just heard a story recently about somebody had put out some lawn decorations for Christmas. And their neighbor came over and stole them and put them up in her yard. And how do you deal with that? <laughs> what is going on with that? It's just insanity. All right, that's my coffee with Tim this morning. Uh, we're trying to keep it short. Um, <clears throat> again, if you want one of those business cards, give me a holler. We'll get one out to you. If you, if you were interested in watching that special edition of Coffee with Tim, which is called Normal Church Service at Valley View Christian Fellowship. I gave you that. Valleyviewreno.org and vimeo.com slash vvcf. Uh, send us a shout if you liked it. Um, I, I did notice, I was wondering, how much would we increase the viewership of the online? Because the, the church is always online every, every uh, Sunday. The Facebook, I went back and took the average of a couple of months or so before we went there and then I, I, how much difference did it make? And it was up 20 to 25% just for us being there with the, with all your coffee heads and others joining in. So thank you, thank you for that. Father, I wanna pray a blessing upon my viewership this morning on Black Friday, that the spirit of the Christmas, the spirit of peace, the spirit of, of this peace, take away the anxiety. Help us rethink what we're doing here and how we're living, Lord. And then thank you, that Jesus. You are the reason for the season. And I remember you're coming soon. And I can't wait, Lord. I can't wait. Come soon. Blessings on my viewership, Lord. All right, folks. Uh, promote this if you, if you think there's going to be something somebody can use. We're going to get more gospel intensive. And I'm not sure what we're all going to change it to, but it's going to get better. Okay? All right, God bless you, and yeah, that, 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 that is all, folks. Oh, come on, come on now, that's all, folks.